Now the sixth property in greatest integer function again has something to do with limits. So suppose I have any number a, which is an integer, and h is a very small positive number, which is nearly zero. Then greatest integer function of a minus h will be a minus one, and greatest integer function of a plus h will be simply a. Now say for example, if I say two minus h. Now h is very small positive number, so minus point zero 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 one. So that will make it one point nine 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 something, and greatest integer function of one point nine nine something will be simply one. But if I take greatest integer function of two plus h, so there will be two plus point zero 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 one. So in that case, this value will be two point something. So in this case, the value of greatest integer function of two plus h will simply be two. So if it is a minus h, it'll be a minus one, and if it is a plus h, then it'll be simply a. When h is a very small positive number and a is an integer. Now, say for example, the question is given as limit x tends to one, two minus x plus a into greatest integer function of x minus one plus b into greatest integer function of one plus x. It says this limit exists. Then find the value of a and b. Now what we do know is the greatest integer function. It is discontinuous at integral points, so it simply means I need to take both left hand limit as well as right hand limit. So if I write, so if I write its left hand limit, I can write left hand limit as limit x tends to one negative two minus x plus a into greatest integer function of x minus one plus b into Greatest integer function of one plus x. Now it is one minus. So we are approaching one from the left hand side. So I'll do the substitution. I'll let x as one minus h. Now when x is one, h is zero. So I can write it as limit h tends to zero positive. So this is two minus one minus h plus a into greatest integer function of one minus h minus one. Plus b into one plus one minus of h, so I can write it as limit h tends to zero positive. So this is one plus h, and then a greatest integer function of minus h plus b greatest integer function of two minus h. So now this is one plus Now h is nearly zero, so this is zero. A into now what about greatest integer function of minus h? Now greater function of minus h is actually zero minus h. So when it is a minus h, it is a minus one. So the value of this greatest integer function of minus h will be simply minus one and b into two minus h. So two minus something will be one. So left hand limit will simply be one minus a plus b. Now I'll take right hand limit. Now for right hand limit, I write limit x tends to one positive, and this is two minus x plus a into x minus one plus b into one plus x. Now I'll again do the substitution. I let x as one plus h, so I let it as limit h tends to zero positive two one plus h plus a. One plus h minus one, b. One plus h plus one. So here will be limit h tends to zero positive. So this is one minus h. Now one and one will cancel. A into greatest integer function of h plus b into greatest integer function of two plus h. Now this is one. H is zero. Now what is greatest integer function of h? So a plus h is simply a. So zero plus h is simply zero. So there will be zero, and then plus. Now this is b. Now greatest new function of a plus h, two plus h is simply two. So this is two. So left hand limit is one minus a plus b, and right hand limit is one plus two into b. So if the limit exists, then I can write left hand limit should be equal to its right hand limit. So left hand limit is one minus a. Plus b, and this is one plus 
to B. So if I'll cancel one with one, so I can simply write A plus B equals to zero. So answering this question is, so what are the possible values of A and B? So A and B can take any real values provided A plus B is equal to zero. So that is the answer to this question. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.